when we talk about AI, we talk about sometimes relatively expensive tools mm. and uh, some companies that are relatively larger mm. have a very uh, deeper and broader uh, perspective of trying to make this organization more efficient at all times. Whereas smaller organizations have a very harder time trying to exactly mm. both mm. afford technologies that increase their efficiency. Yeah. yeah. So how can small businesses try to mm. apply different mm. uh, types of AI in their business yeah. to be able to compete yeah. with larger businesses? Uh, uh, that's probably a very, very good question. I mean, um, uh, if we compare with digitalization, to, for example, pre, uh, 10 years ago, I think uh, small companies were, in general, lagging behind, well, I, we, if they were not sort of digital startups and that kind of companies. But I think uh, what happened there is, of course, that some of these uh, digital tools that they later on started to implement, they became off-the-shelf products. So maybe we are in the same situation now. That is, uh, well, AI is, is fairly uh, expensive right now. It's, it's uh, costly. But, I mean, as time passes, I think we will see much more, maybe quite uh, quite fast, off-the-shelf products. I mean, open AI sources, et cetera, et cetera, that small companies can more, more easily adopt. Uh, so I think... Yes, today big organizations are probably more on the forefront of, of trying and using AI solutions uh, internally and, and, and externally in, in relationship to other customers, etc. But I would say that um, with time and maybe more quickly than we think, we will see much, much more of uh, open AI sources and platforms. But if you look at the market right now mm. in terms mm. of the AI companies that provide perhaps, as you uh, said, off-the-shelf type mm. of uh, products to different companies. Mm. There are very relatively few companies that have that type of uh, really uh, at the uh, edge uh, techniques that mm. many might want to buy mm. uh, because it's very relatively expensive yes, to develop yeah, these. Yeah. Do you think that there is a possibility of it remaining relatively expensive for a long time? <coughs> I, I'm, I'm not sure. I, that's a very difficult question to answer. Maybe maybe um, it could be uh, different depending on what business area we're talking about. Uh, because I think some some industries and some applications area, application areas are probably more on the forefront than others. So I think maybe we need to see it uh, from from what industry, what application area are we talking about? Uh, I can't give you an example, but uh, b but that's at, at least what we've seen in, in other areas that there, there are some some areas that are much more in, in the forefront. And uh, uh, maybe we can, if we talk rather than industries, if we talk about uh, organizational functions. Well, one of the areas that we have seen is is uh, and has been there, this has been there for long. Uh, it's in the marketing area. We have lots of di different sort of uh, AI-based uh, marketing applications that are becoming uh, maybe uh, less costly quite rapidly. Um, so I think, uh, and marketing has always been in the forefront of AI adoption, I would say. Wh when you I investigate organizations and w what internal functions is it that are most rapidly adopting AI, I it's, you can say, on average, it's definitely the marketing uh, operations. Uh, because they have been working with big uh, customer data uh, and, and customer data analysis uh, for very long. So I, I, it's I, it's not so pr so surprising, and maybe there uh, I'm just speculating now. Maybe in that area we will see uh, more of uh, uh, less costly, at least uh, AI applications coming to market.